Hello everyone, welcome to another Drill Master video critique. This is GR821. GR? That's the unit number. GR821. GR stands for Germany. This is Ramstein Air Base, Air Force Junior ROTC. So let's get going on this critique. All right, first, and I... I, I stopped. Well, the, I, I think the uh, the video actually starts just as everybody's going to attention. <clears throat> so um, not everybody in is in time here. Uh, and also, Commander, you don't have to be at attention to call attention. Uh, what the Air Force Manual Act specifically states that uh, when the commander is part of a a unit of uh, like a parade unit or a color guard or even the uh, um, a colors detail for a uh, flag detail for raising and lowering the flag, uh, the commander is not supposed to be at attention. The commander is supposed to be with the uh, the the that detail that formation. So you stay at parade rest until you uh you, and you move with the team you don't come to per attention and then call the team to attention so uh wrong staffs uh the the uh the staffs must be a light uh, ash wood guide on and it looks like uh, his belt is too low and belt is really crooked here um, but I'll, let's see what happens here as as the uh, as the team starts moving. Why are you looking around, Commander? You should be looking only at the uh, only at the judge, the head judge, waiting for the signal to go. Okay, so next time you have to do that, don't slam the flagstaff down. Uh, you're not supposed to be sharp in in planting the flag. This is not a a, a reenactment of Iwo Jima, so just hand the flagstaff off. Don't don't slam it. it. That's not necessary. Again, don't slam that staff. Oh, okay. So just a cursory overview, I guess, of the uniforms. Yeah. Uh, what was that for? What what are you what are you what are you doing? got to show me where it says i you know some people hate to, to hear that show me where it says that's a great statement honestly show me where it says that there's a there's movement on the command carry especially the left arm going across the body to grasp the staff it's nowhere that's a made up movement so don't do it carry colors lift the staff with the right meet the staff at the harness socket with the left don't grasp the staff with the left, but meet it. We'll go back. Oh. There. And, oh. Guards. Guards, guards, guards. The elbows, the the elbows, are are tucked. This is this is not right shoulder, guys. Neither one of you. This is not right shoulder. This is right shoulder. Elbows tucked. This is not sharper -er or ceremonialer -er or wonder more wonderfuler. -er. It it doesn't 
it doesn't work that way. So elbows tucked, okay? Arm swing is in front of the body. You can tell a little bit. You're too close together. You need to be standing at close interval, and you, you are pretty much, but then as soon as you start moving, as soon as you start, you move in together. You move in closer, which is not authorized. You are not authorized to march shoulder to shoulder. So are you using, are you supposed to be using army techniques? Both rifles at right shoulder, uh, the left hand on the harness socket. Are you supposed to be doing that? Or are you supposed to be using Air Force techniques? Air Force techniques are different. Rifles at the outside shoulder, left, left hands, uh, color bearers at the side, no arm swing for the whole team. I would... I would guess that you're supposed to be using Air Force manual techniques. And it looks like Yeah, you're 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 still too close. Um even halted here. So you've got to maintain that that close interval spacing. And then here, we can see right here the, the American flag harness socket is lower than the, uh, well, hopefully it's the, the J. Rotsi, the organizational. And then looking at, the, these aren't Air Force grips either. Air Force grip is all fingers closed with the, uh, the thumb tucked into the, the U formed by the index finger. If you're using Army technique, then this is... This is army technique. Berets too far back on on their heads. But uh, but you should be using Air Force grips at, at least. And I would I would say that you should be using Air Force technique. Um, but then again, I don't know. Uh, uh, it's been so long since I was at the Ramstein meet with uh, with Bidberg High. So, uh, fingers should be closed at least, but, but both hands really should be the same. That's a lot of body movement. That's a, a lot of body movement left guard. Holy cow, you're all over the place here when you should be able to come to port grasp the rifle place it on the hip it looked like you almost moved your right knee forward in in that strange cadetism type of of move to to bend forward and it's not necessary and uh, so i i don't know exactly if you're uh uh, and so, uh, I, okay, it wasn't the beginning of a move. Your finger should be closed there, color bearer. And uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I need to go back and watch that again. So you're you're not uh, both of you uh, both of the the guards you're you're not executing the the the, the proper technique of, of sling arms and you're you've got the it, it looks like you're you're moving so fast and and executing this so quickly you look nervous and that's why there's an excess of the the sling hanging down to where you can left guard you can barely get the rifle on your shoulder so from here, you're at port. Well, the port, the rifle should be at the port position. Grab it and place it, and then move the uh, move the sling. I mean, yeah, your your knee did did slide out there. Excessive body movement left, but also you don't grab the the rifle here with the right arm. You you actually slide 
and I know I'm, I'm punching the, the camera practically, but you slide the, 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 the sling onto the arm as you push the, the arm through and then reach back to grasp the sling like this so that your, your forearm here needs to be parallel to the ground. And it's not. Look, look where you're, and you're still adjusting. I, I understand that, but look where your 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 hand was, way up at the shoulder there. This hand uh, for right rifle guard looks a little high. So, now if you're for for the the uncase uh, uncasing the color sequence. We all have to, no matter the service, we all have to use the Army Training Circular Method. And did you know that this is not supposed to be a facing movement with a close? It's not, to be a, not supposed to be a two count. It's supposed to be a face in march. So, uh, you know, as I study more, I, uh, more opens up to me. So you should be executing both of the guards. When the, when the commander says post, you should be executing a face in march. A face uh, in marching, or as in marching. And, yeah, the, the belt here, way too low. It should be in between uh, the bottom two buttons here. This is, this is on, it looks like it's o over uh, or covering your uniform belt, and that's much, much too low. You're wearing a blouse, so the, visually the, the belt needs to almost split the blouse it kind of is a uh, two-thirds on top of the blouse one-third on the bottom so uh having it uh th this low will look and it's it's not proper placement anyway so instead of that facing movement which which you you, you yeah your your sling is so tight that's not the technique either. All right, so <clears throat> un uncase the colors is 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 a statement. It's not necessarily a command, uh, but the the statement uncase the colors. You bring the staff out, uh, but you're supposed to use the guide on technique of raised guide on. So raised guide on for the army is left like this raised guide on for the Air Force is like this. There is no raised guide on for the Marine Corps. Um, they, uh, uh, so what you're going to do is bring the staff out, come forward, and then you're supposed to, after here, you're supposed to drop your left, but keeping the, the flagstaff out there, I, I get it, it's just, it's it's too much, it's, it's quite heavy. And you you need to unfurl it anyway. So what I would suggest is, after you come down, that you bring the staff, slide the staff in, so that your left hand is in front of the right on the staff, like this. So you you come down, and then pull there. You pull the staff in so that you have the staff under your arm, not lower, but under your armpit. That's where it needs to be. So, uh, in order, since there's such a, a variation in, in height, um, most, well, maybe it's under the, uh, the American color bearer's armpit, but then the other, the other uh, color bearer would have to bring it down so that they're both equal height. It's going to look much better that way. So, you pull here, Pull it in, and then you're able to support it and have the uh, uh, the the staff then rest underneath the armpit and then in both hands. So you have to use guide on technique, and since it's since it's we're using the Air Force uh, the Army standard, we use the Air Force guide on technique for this move, since we're not Army. We, I'm Air Force, so since since you're not Army, you're going to use the Air Force guide-on technique. Army would then use the Army guide-on technique of raising the staff like this, bringing it down, and then they could also slide it in. But you're going to raise it like this, bring the staff down, then pull it in. I, I highly suggest pulling it in. I know that's not exactly what's supposed to happen, but and, and these should be flat, by the way. 
not pointed up like that. The the guidons actually have to be flat. Oh no. Oh, that's I'm I'm so sorry that happened. However, left rifle guard, you look like you were so nervous. So as as you're and I don't have a, a my staff doesn't have a spade on it. Alright, so as you're marching, the staff the, the spade has to be flat, all right? And you can't mark it uh, on these these metal staffs. You, you're, you're carrying the wrong staffs. You're not supposed to have the aluminum staffs. But your, your spade is supposed to be flat. When you bring the staff down to, uh, the, to uh, um, this position, the horizontal position, the spade needs to be flat, all right? And then as you unfurl, you you're twisting obviously but then you twist until the spade is flat again and the flag is fully extended all right now i have some really bad news for you here worse than dropping the rifle the really bad news is that's not an air force flag that is a chinese knockoff sorry you can't carry that flag it's not authorized and it's I oh oh that's terrible well okay you're recovering fairly well there all right all right, so anyway, you have to have an authorized Air Force flag. That's not it, and you cannot carry that anymore. That is a novelty flag. It's sold by flag companies, I know, and I'm really sorry to break the news to you, but you, you cannot carry that flag anymore. It's it's considered a novelty flag, and you're, oh, anybody in uniform is only authorized to carry uh service government flags government being state army and air force can carry state uh city county those are government flags the american flag uh the the departmental flag the organizational flag so i would suggest that you do whatever you want with that flag don't carry it again ever uh, but carry the uh j rotsi flag air force junior rtc flag all right so i Oh, that's, that's so unfortunate. So I was so caught up with, uh, okay. So now I'm, I, I gotta watch a couple of things here. All right. Oh yeah. There's so much going on. Uh, gonna rewind again. So again, the spades have to be flat. I, I, I know it, it might be a little bit easier for your guards to, uh, yeah, to, to use the seam, can't do that. That's that's not the proper technique. It needs to be flat like this. So you'll have to, to pull it off another way. So as you unfurl, see, you're not unfurling at the same time. So you should be unfurling so that both of the staffs are flat. When it's required that you raise it, for the average height male, you know, all, all of these measurements were taken years ago uh, in the military, in the U.S. military. Average height male can unfurl a flagstaff completely and still have the flagstaff be uh, completely horizontal. So anybody else who's not the average height then is going to have to raise the flagstaff just a bit. So you're going to have to unfurl and then raise slightly not as much as you're doing and also you have to unfurl at the same time so you're you're going to technically you know if when it, it's when it's perfect you unfurl completely so that both both uh spades are flat and the uh, uh the staffs are raised minimally you're, you you don't just raise them willy-nilly you you finish and, and just give that slight pause there 
and then you're, what you're going to do is raise the staff back up to carry. You don't bring it down to order like you 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 did. So I'll watch the guards here. Yeah, the okay. That's that's you you fold and fold, and then you're going to grasp it with the left and bring it down so that you hold it hold the, the the case like this all right when you when you bring it down to your your side you're going to hold it like this all right so that when you grab the sling you're able to take these two fingers right here grab the sling and then execute uh, the hand salute So that's not the the correct technique for salute there. So you you grab the you grab the sling and salute. When you're finished, you're going to order all the way down, reach up and then drop the the left hand. So it's grab, salute, not drop your arm and then salute. All right? Notice my hand movement here. It's grab, salute, drop, under, and then drop. I wonder what I wonder what the guard's gonna do. This is really interesting. Camera operator, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Here. Don't do that. Elbows. Why? Why are you drilling in accordance with 3-21.5? So we don't, for the Air Force, we don't say Master Sergeant. We say Sergeant, we say Ma'am. We don't identify specific stripes. Like you wouldn't report into me Tech Sergeant, you just Sergeant or Sir. That's what we do in the Air Force. We don't identify any any of the uh, uh, the ranks until chief. You wouldn't say senior master sergeant, you know, whoever. Master sergeant, whoever. It's, it's, uh, and you know that. You're in, you're in Air Force J. Rotsi. So now it's a safety issue with that sling hanging down. So that's not colors reverse. Colors Reverse is a series of, uh, of, of, uh, face as in marking. So, arm swing there, guys. Since you're unfortunately drilling with uh, the training circular, six and three. Six and three for your. Face as in marching. It's, it's different, very different. Don't slam your equipment. Oh, thank you for not bringing the staffs forward. I was concerned about that. Tucked elbows, guys. Nice alignment and timing. But you speed up. So, uh, 
I won't, I won't tap out the tempo on my metronome, but you're gonna you have a tempo range for Air Force from 100 to 120. So you, really, your target should be 110 all the time, no matter if you are marching forward at a full step, a half step, or you're marking time, or somewhere in between. These <clears throat> the wheels are are strange animals with the with whether you're marking time or half stepping, and you're doing a little bit of both. And, and different people are doing different things all at the same time. So you, you, but you speed up as soon as you get into the wheel movements. So you shouldn't do that. Anywhere from six to eight steps for wheels. And you're making it eight Actually, you're pushing it at eight, honestly. So on that eyes right, you should slip that hand up and pop it out in one count. Eyes, right, bang. Okay, it, it's, it's a really quick movement. Yeah, see that slight tempo increase there on the wheel. Oh, and uh, if you if you notice here on this last left wheel, so there's a, an alignment issue here, but watch, not here, but watch this. Now you can see that first turn, the, the left guard, his shoulders turn immediately well past the turn, but then come back for, for some reason. I, I don't know exactly why, but you you want to make sure that that just as, as if you're, you're turning with this uh, plastered to your back, you want to make sure that that wheel movement is completely straight for the whole team. And you're, you're doing fairly well on, on the wheels. This... Uh, uh, this last one here was a little bit of a challenge. And it, it's definitely a challenge at close intervals, so you need to maintain that close interval at all times. So close, not bad. Looks like you're looking down at the ground there, uh, novelty flag bearer and uh, left guard. Look, you need to look straight ahead. Fingers. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sergeant. Yeah, and uh, elbows for the the right or elbows. Uh, sorry, shoulders for the right rifle guard. Kind of going back and forth on these these flanking movements. And again, colors reverse doesn't have flanking movements at. It's, it's all faces uh, as in marching. Face as in marchings. Faces as in marching. It's, it's, it's not what we've thought it was for years. And I include myself in that as well.
one thing I want to check here. Going up, out, over, down, and around with the, the staffs is not necessary. Okay, so you do start it on the right. So, left wheel march called on two consecutive left steps. You need to take another full right step forward, then start the wheel movement on that next left step. For right wheel, we started on that immediate left step because the the, the two commands are called on, on consecutive right steps. So just wanted to uh, to check that. And then we'll skip to here. So do you see the do you see the arm swing as as the uh, right rifle guard swinging in front of the left thigh, and then a big arm swing here. Almost an army type arm, so nine and, and six. Um, and then uh, there's a, a good spacing for the arm swing in front for the right rifle guard, but almost not exactly. Slamming the feet together is not necessary. And then look at where you have your, your end step. Uh, that, uh, Anna. Oh. Your end step is the step before you close. So, and it, it, they're at different, uh, different lengths there. Uh, let's see. Go right here. I'll show you. Now there, everybody seems to have stopped at a, uh, a, a good, with good alignment, that end step looked to be uh, similar. But here, not so much. You're not off the field yet. So there's there's differences there and, and differences here as well. Thumbs behind the, the staffs, that's good. Uh, not Air Force grips. Well, I said that before. Up, over, down. Not necessary. Trail colors. Trail colors is not a command. Okay, so um, that's unfortunate that, uh, that that happened with the left rifle guard, but you had you you had plenty of time to to move that sling properly, and it looked like you you didn't more practice, take it slow. good consistent speed it doesn't have to be lightning fast uh, it's it's unfortunate that you're using the the training circular not the, the air force manual um, but uh you know maybe that's the requirement for uh uh for the uh for the competition um <clears throat> oh yeah uh, remember that here Again, it's a face as in marching to step out and not a facing movement and then marching forward. And then the, the colors reverse is a, 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 a series of, of face, faces in marching as well. Um, alignment most of the time is really quite good. You have a, a commander, you have a, a uh, you have a, a monotone-ish command voice <clears throat> at certain times.
So I'm wondering the oh, and you have spikes as well uh, as as finials. So that's why even you you didn't end uh, flat. So not only are you carrying the incorrect staffs, you're carrying the and this is uh, Air Force uh, instruction thirty six twenty two oh three that outlines the the proper staffs and finials. Um, but the spike finial, it's a um, what a, a Civil War uh, finial, uh, or f it's from the Civil War. Uh, there's several variations, but um, but it's not authorized either. So uh, that's that's new equipment that you you definitely need to to be within Air Force regulations. Um, and as far as the sling. Boy, that's a tough one. When you, just as a suggestion, guard it, it. When you were behind, tucking in the the case, you you could have some. I don't know if you could have tried to take the sling off. At, at least you you weren't in in an exhibition drill routine with that sling flying all over. So I mean, it was a a, a slight ish. Uh, uh, safety uh, concern. Uh, at least you didn't have to to case the colors. I was I was looking for that and to find out what you were going to do, but you didn't have to do it. So now at the end, trail colors is not a command in any service. Um, you you could have stepped off uh, and then just been at marching at trail uh, there's it's not necessary that that you you call the the command or you could have called the guards to port and then marched off so uh, you could technically with your left hand across holding the staff that's port it's a ceremonial technique but it's still port so um several things that uh that need to be addressed and equipment unfortunately is one of them but the but technique is is definitely uh, some uh, a concern here, and what you're going to have to do, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you're going to have to read the training circular. If you're going to 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 uh, compete using the training circular, then you've you've got to read it and read it and read it and read it until you know it, Un until you know the to know it like the back of your hand. Uh, so that that colors section, you're going to have to know cold. And it's it has some some hidden information, not secrets. It, it's the information is there. You just have to read it and understand it as presented. And it'll say face uh, as in marching, or a face as yeah a face in marching. And then you have to go back and and read at the beginning of the TC what face in marching actually means, and then uh, start start working on this this newly learned technique uh, i i'm definitely very thankful that you uh that you sent in the video uh, i i enjoy critiques uh, quite a bit uh but what i was talking about the uh, the harness sockets earlier you can see that you, the american flag is being carried lower than this uh novelty flag which is it's disrespect to the american flag so um the even though the, our taller uh, color bearer here is experiencing some uh, harness crotch syndrome, um, it's not terrible. And this harness uh, socket could have been raised up much better. Plenty of space there to uh, to get these two. Actually, the this socket could have been directly underneath the belt, and then this socket could have been raised up maybe uh, an inch or two so that both were level. And uh, uh, giving some, uh, <clears throat> like giving a better look, and keep still keeping both the uh, the sockets level. So I hope my comments have been helpful. If you have any questions, please definitely let me know in the comments below. But um, uh, some some serious work ahead for the team, and uh, um, this will serve to uh, to educate not only this team but. Uh, the the subsequent teams the, the the for colors presentations for this next 
school year uh, in and around K-Town. So thank you very much. I appreciate it.